Well, hello. Come on in. Good to see you. It's been a New York minute. <laughs> An Arizona second. I don't know. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, if you're returning, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Come on in. Grab a seat. I hope you brought a beverage. You know how these things can go, right? Well, today I have this huge bag. I don't know what it takes to get Timo to send me a box, but even something this big, they put in a bag. I guess they're just too good at stuffing things in bags. <laughs> so this is a sponsored haul. This is my third and largest haul that has been um, provided by Timu. This is home and garden. A lot of outside stuff you're going to see. A little bit of mix in and out, but mostly outside. Down here in Arizona, this is the time of year that we can really get into our gardening and enjoy being outside because even though the temps are still around 100, it's a little cooler in the morning, so we're not all suffering too bad. But just, just a little bit. <laughs> so before we proceed, a little bit of housekeeping other than saying thank you, Timu, for sponsoring this haul. I really appreciate it. Um, they have given me the seed money and I selected everything myself. If you're new to my channel and have never downloaded the Timu app, to your phone, then by all means, please go down into the description box. You will find my link. It will take you to Timu, and it will also do two things for you and one thing for me. Timu will give me $5 if you've never used the app before and you download it for me, but what they're going to give you, which I'm very jealous of, by the way, they're going to give you a coupon bundle worth $100, and they're going to give you 50% off your first order. I don't get 50% off anything, even with my savvy shopping skills. <laughs> Especially not an unlimited order. It doesn't matter how much you spend on your first order. You spend the first $10 to get your free shipping. So that means half of that order is going to be free. $5. You spend $100, bucks, you are going to get $50 off. You spend $300, you are going to get $150 off. You know how to do the math. This is the time to do that. Um, Labor Day weekend was an amazing sale that they had. I checked three, four times a day, and every time I checked, I had at least a half a dozen, if not more, price adjustments. So this is the time. This is the anniversary month for Timu. Uh, the entire month of September, they had the anniversary special running. Anybody, whether you're a new user or an existing user, can use my link to go into Timu and spin for your daily rewards. So without further ado, let's get into this package, shall we? Hmm. I don't know where, I don't want to work with it on my left. Hold on, let's set it over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. I'm just gonna grab the first thing I can. Now you will see the prices up here and on some of these items I may actually pop up a picture so that you can see how they look on the website. This first item is a floor mat, but it's a foam one. I intentionally got it to be squishy because when I'm in the house or on the lanai, um, basically any place but in the yard, I run around barefoot. I don't like shoes, period. Um, if I have to go out, then I wear the nicest shoes. But this is very long. I uh, don't know if it has it checked off what the measurements are, but I'm going to show you the back first. It's got the no skid little bumpy rubber things all over the back, and it's beautifully steamed, seamed and stitched. There goes my words again. But on the front, this looks like a hardwood floor. Love these colors. Love, love, love these colors. And this thing is long. This is easily four feet, four, somewhere between four and five feet. This thing is big. I got this as a runner for going in and out my patio door. And I want something cushy under my feet so that I have a distance that I can walk on. This is really soft. I don't know if you can see. Let me turn it this way. But it's definitely very cushy, very squishy. 
It feels very soft. And this part is really, really smooth. I'm surprised. It almost feels like, uh, what's that word? Like velour kind of thing. Really nice. Very well made. No seams in it. And I'm sure these folds will come out. But great item. Great big item. Great deal. By the way, see, I'm so forgetful this morning. I have so much on my mind. And I don't mean I have my hat on too tight. <laughs> Down below, after you find my link and my code, my code for new users to get you 50% off is AFC95851. But also down below, you will see all the links to every item I show you and their prices. See how forgetful I am today? You know what I have on my mind? You want a big surprise? Because, boy, I tell you, I'm just like shocked. I got contacted by an international company, and they want to do a partnership with me so that I can receive and review their items. And they provide personal care items. Um, different things that you need, I don't know, to take care of you. <laughs> the first thing they're sending me, which I should receive this coming weekend, um, is going to be a water flosser, something similar to like a water pick. But they're sending me a water flosser and all the information on it. So I will be doing a review on that. And I'm just really excited that company has reached out to me, the old little newbie, what an oxymoron. Hmm. Contradiction in terms. But anyway, <laughs> I am a YouTube newbie, but yet they contacted me. They've been watching my videos. They like the way I explain stuff. So I'll be doing a review. Isn't that nice? All right. So for this item, this is a vine, and it's a lot of vine, a long vine, a very long vine. And it comes in several, several strands. There appears to be what I would say, oh, my gosh, maybe three or four different strands, maybe even more. Oh, wait, two, three, four, six strands. And this is all a really long ivy. What my intention is to do with this is to cut it into several different lengths and then hang it. Um, as one big long hanging pot type of thing. But this is very well made. These leaves have great patterns on them. Very nice item. I love the variegation in colors. So from a distance, it does look pretty real. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this. I may put this outside on the lanai uh, because I do want to have some color outside. And it's too hot to really have um, art to have, to have artificial to have real plants out there, especially during the heat of the summer. I'd have to keep moving them into the house. And I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh yes, the sheer. If you've been following my videos, you've seen that I've been pulling these mint green shears. Well, I thought I had all of them that I needed, but I was one short. So I got another one, and this is the one with the grommets because it's going to go on the back window. Beautiful mint green sheer. Absolutely love this. Great material, great color. You will see it in my other videos. The grommets on here, very high quality. The way they're installed, excellent. They're just clamped on here beautifully and in several spots. So they're not going anywhere. We've had some pretty bad storms lately here in Arizona. Um, monsoons, you probably heard in the news about all the flooding and everything else that's going on. These curtains that I already have, whoops, excuse me, I'm stepping on it, it's so long. The ones that I already have up in the back one eye have been out there taking a beating and they're still perfect. They're, they, they haven't torn, the grommets haven't ripped out. These don't have any damages to them. Absolutely love that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's keep going. Timo has been so good to me. I absolutely love this stuff. Oh, bright orange. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a grease collector. Where did I put this? A liner <laughs> for a grease bin. Now, 
I did read the measurements, but I must have taken centimeters and inches and mixed them up. This is not going to fit into my uh, grill grease catcher. However, this is silicone, and it's just like any other silicone bakeware. Can you guess what I'm going to be using this for? Yeah, you got it. A mini loaf pan, whether it be meat loaf or bread loaf or whatever, because these can take they can take hot grease dripping into it. It doesn't hurt them. Then they can take an oven at 350 degrees. So I found already an alternate use for this. I'm not going to return it. I'm not going to have a problem with it. But it is a good item. It's nice and sturdy. I love that it has the hole here so that you can hang it to keep it where you want it. But it also doubles as the grip for you to pick it up and not have to handle the hot grease. I could by possibly put this on my counter and use it for my cooking grease or baking grease or stuff, but I don't consume a lot of greasy stuff in the house, so this would probably sit out for a year before it even have like a half an inch in it. And it's about three inch, two and a half, three inches deep. Um, and I would say probably six to seven inches long. So it's a good size. Grease catcher for your barbecue, grease container for the house, um, pretty much anything you want to use it for, or a nice little baking thing. Like it. Anything that has multiple use without multiplying cost for any of us, that's a bargain. What was this? We haven't opened this yet, so I'm seeing, yes, I ordered all these things, but I haven't looked at them because... I figured I'm not going to price them. The prices are going to be down below um, and or up above. You'll see them. What is this? My goodness gracious. I'm not going to. Okay, hold on. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> My phone's in the charger, so I can't go look at the order on the charger and see what it is. But, oh, all right. Now I know what it is. <laughs> this is a garden screen. Here in Arizona, we have everything that will eat everything. If it's got two legs or four legs and it can get into your yard from the air, the ground, or underground, it's going to eat what you have. So in preparation for the, the fall, when I do uh, set up an official garden in the back, I needed a screen or screening to protect my garden from the air. That's what this is. If you look, you can see it's mesh. It's a netting. You can see right through it. But it is enough. I love that it's reinforced on the edges, reinforced around the grommets. This is big. I'm not going to open this all the way up. But I remember this being something like 6 feet by 12 feet. It's a little bit more oblong. But it's absolutely huge. It's definitely 6 feet in length. And somewhere between 10 and 20 feet in width. Um, I'll put the description of the picture up so that you can see the actual measurements. But this is a great mesh to protect your garden. This goes on posts above to keep the birds from coming down and pecking at your fruits and whatnot. So great idea. Love that it's got nice binding on it. This is actually better quality than the one I had in New York. This is great. The one I the one I had in in New York was vinyl, but it was more like a chicken wire. It was very, very open. This is very tight. So this is great. Even the hummingbirds won't be able to get through this um, to get to my plantings. I forgot I ordered that. That's a bonus. I'm definitely going to have to put that with my get the yard ready uh, for my garden. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh. Anybody need 100 feet of hose? <laughs> When your backyard is 90 feet across and 80 feet deep, you need a 100-foot hose, right? And that's what I got. This is a 100 feet. Holy cow, this thing is heavy. All right, I'm not going to take the rubber band. This is a flex hose. You can see how squishy it is, right, and stretchy it is. This is one of those flex hoses, but it's not the type that crumples all the way up. This is small as it gets. But it will expand once the water goes into it. Nice material. If you can see the material on it. Nice quality material. Well made. 
heavy, and I'm talking heavy brass couplings on the end. There's the connector for the faucet on the end with the washer, right? Good quality washer. And if you look in the middle, you can see how narrow the, it is here. So that's going to put a lot of pressure behind this hose, and that's what helps. This is my favorite part, though. This is the end that goes on to your, like your hand spray or your nozzle. This has an on-off. I got to put this on my lap. Hold on. This has an on. Hold on. I'm not going to put it on my lap because it's going to end up on the floor. All right. One more time. There's the charm. On-off. Actually, you can turn it. The valve. It has its own valve for turning it on. And turning it off, which means that I don't have to constantly be running back to the house 90 or 100 feet away, depending on if I'm at an angle in the yard. I don't have to keep running back to shut it off at the house. I can shut it off right here where I'm using it with the piece that I'm using it with. This is really solid brass. This is three quarter inch. Whoops, hold on, upside down. <laughs> three quarter inch. Brass fitting. Well, I'm, I am just absolutely loving this. I didn't even realize this had, this was on it. So this is a great bargain. A hundred feet of hose. Now remember, right now what you're seeing looks like about 50 feet, but once the water goes in it and it expands, it's a hundred feet of hose. Great deal. Solid brass couplings on the ends of it. Yeah, this is going to be Fine. Instead of being tedious, this is going to be nice. It's going to be very, very nice for me to use. Does anybody else use these flex hoses? Because I have two shorter ones that I use that I got from Timu, and they're great. This is the first big one I've gotten, the first heavy-duty one that I've gotten. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you guys have gotten some, I'm digging in the bag. <laughs> If you guys have gotten some things, I would really love to hear um, your experiences about what you've got. All right. This is so cute. I got this to go inside my mailbox. It's just a little sticker and a little postal truck, and it says thank you. So that every time my mailman drops down to put mail in, he's going to get a little thank you. I thought that was just adorable. I'm like, why not? You know, this poor male delivery person, and for in my case, we haven't had a female yet, but our male carriers are out in crazy heat. I mean, when we were close to 120 and higher back in July, and we were in the mid-one-teens uh, for August, and we're still up around 100, and here we are, you know, the first week of September, and we're still at 100 degrees, this is like a constant way of saying, Thank you. I appreciate them being out and my mail and my team orders <laughs> being delivered. So not a bad little item. And it's smaller than I thought, but it's perfect. I wouldn't want anything too, too big because then I have to put on the outside of the mailbox. And it might not be seen so well. All right. Now, this item doesn't have anything to do with home and garden. But it was a free item that they sent me um, simply for doing the order. And it's these really, really unique pair of earrings. And you should know me by now. I'm into the funky geometric stuff. Hold on. Let me hold these up for you. Can you see these? Oops. Hold on. There we go. Because I don't want them to glare. Focus. I just thought they were absolutely Really unique, really incredible. Let me hold them up one at a time here so I can do this the right way. Okay. Where am I going with this? I don't know where I'm going with this. There we go. Very unique. Love the colors in it. Golds, red. I guess it's kind of like a jade color down there. I'm not, not too, too sure about that. I don't know why it's doing that. It must be the reflection of the metal. But really, really pretty. Really pretty ear. There we go. Really pretty earring. Loving that. Love that. 
And then this one's a little bit different. It's the same, part of the same set, but yet it's a little bit different. There we go. Focus. Got it. So they're kind of reversed, but with different shapes. And this was just Timu's thank you to me um, for promoting their products and, you know, doing a sponsored video. And I thought that was very sweet of them to do that. So thank you for that, Timu, because I really do like those. And those are my style. I can pick those out. Isn't that cool? Timu figured that out on their own. All right. What do we got in here? Oh, yeah. I took a box. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my brain is fried. I was up painting my kitchen cabinets, uh, the drawer fronts on my kitchen cabinets, the last big painting step before I can put on the rest of the hardware and get my kitchen down to where I only have like three things left to do in it. All right. This, I'm going to show it to you this way. These are solar torch lights. Solar torch lights. And that's exactly what they look like. It does come with instructions in English. I want to make sure you all get a chance to look at that. It's a really pretty light. I love it. This is a set of four. So here's the four stems. And then you have the spikes. And if you've never done these before, they're easy. The spikes just go into the bottom. Here, let me put these down. We only have to do it with one, right? Okay, so this it comes with the four spikes. One I just put in here and the three more. The spikes go into the bottom. This goes into the ground. Now, here in Arizona, we can't just push them into the ground because this will break. So I take a piece of rebar and a sledgehammer, and I poke a hole down in the ground that's as deep, maybe about an inch deeper than these spikes are. And then I put this into the <laughs> That's how we have to do things around here because everything is so hard. All right. And then it comes with four of the lamps and I think these are absolutely gorgeous on two sides they have this pattern I'm gonna put my hand behind it and then on the other two sides they have this which is the open rays all right so as you turn it around again it has the pattern and this light inside is a golden color on top you have your sun collector and the top twists off like this. All right. So if you do need to replace anything, you can replace it. Or if you want to get in there and clean it. I don't know if these will attract bugs being yellow, but they might. They're just not going to kill them. All right. So very simply, there's a ridge groove on the bottom of this. There's a hole on the under end of the tube. In they go. And that's what you have. And this thing from top to bottom, I would say, is probably about 18 inches from where Above ground, not counting, I'm going to take the spike off the bottom, not counting the spike from the top of this to the bottom of it is about 15 to 18 inches. So it's a good height. It's going to stand up nicely. I'm going to put the four of these out in between my bottle brush bushes so that they will light up that area of the house. Um, two of them along the side coming up the driveway and the other two in the front. So this is a really nice set. As with any other set, it's this hard molded plastic type material. They come apart easy. They go together easy. Doesn't matter which end of this you use. You can put either end. Okay. It's a universal tube, either end to go on it. So absolutely really happy with this. Um, I cannot wait to get these in and plugged in. That's going to be a project for when it gets cooler. And when it does get cooler and I'm able to get them in and get them charged, I will definitely take a picture and post the picture up for you guys so that you can see them in action. But in the meantime, I, I'll put a picture for you on the screen so that you can see what they look like and why I fell in love with them. So that's absolutely great. Set of four. I do believe you can get them in bigger sets, maybe eight or 12. I think you can get them in bigger sets. Don't call me. But I think. You know what happens when those gray old ladies start thinking, right? All right. Let's see what else we got in this box or in this box, in this bag. Oh, this is another set of solar lights. This is a set of 10 
solar lights. And these are what I call the plain Jane solar lights. They're not fancy like the other ones that I just showed you. These are the plain Jane solars. These are going to go around my patio out back because I have my patio is tucked into the corner wall in my back. So two sides are completely open and two sides are on the wall. And along the wall, I have plantings. Hopefully, eventually, they'll grow up and make the wall a lot more attractive. But I got these to border along the wall where they'll give some extra light, um, a little bit of ambiance, right, and make it look finished. So it comes with 10 tubes, and these are stainless steel tubes. It comes with 10 of these. It comes with, come on out. Oh, my gosh. It's such a big container. It comes with 10 spikes, again, just like the other ones. The spikes, the tube is universal. It doesn't matter what end you put the spike in. All right. And then you have your little top. And I like these because these are low profile. These are not tall like the other ones I showed you. These from ground up are only about eight inches total. So that's why I like them because they're more so like for the footpath to light low as opposed to throw a lot of light. So this is all it is. It's just a nice, simple little crystal. This whole thing will glow. There's your solar capture on the top. Right? Again, this top comes off if you need to change anything in it. And it has the, I don't know if these are charged. I don't think they are. No. But it has the on-off switch underneath the cover here. So when I go out and put them outside, I have to be sure I make sure that I turn them on or they won't collect. Again, into the top. It doesn't matter which end you use. So that's it. It's a no-frill solar light, but because this is crystal, it's going to shed a lot of light out of it. And this part goes in the ground. So above ground, this is what you're going to see. It's about eight inches. But it's very nice. It's all stainless steel, so it'll go with anything before you have. These will be great along a pathway, a walkway, um, along the edge of the driveway. I know I have a lot of plantings. I'm accustomed to where they are, so I wouldn't be backing over them or into them. But this will be a great way to light up at night for someone who maybe doesn't have good night driving vision, or if they're not really familiar with your driveway, this would be kind of like a landing strip. You could spread out, because there's 10 of them, you could put five on each side going up the driveway, or spread them around. But I'm going to use all 10 of these out back around the patio, because my patio is big. My the cement base from my patio is 24 feet long by 18 feet across so that's a pretty good size so between 18 and 24 yeah i needed 10 of these <laughs> so this is great i love this i'm really and i'm happy with the quality again this is stainless steel so it's not it sh i can't say it's not but it shouldn't tarnish or rust outside in the weather um but you know what for the price i couldn't be happier this is great what a great deal so now the front of my house will have new Pretty solar lights where it doesn't have any. And the back of my patio will have constant light. I might actually take a couple of these. I have a green space, artificial turf that I put down so the dogs have their own green space. It's a pretty good size. It's about 10 by 15. It's great for them to just lay on and stretch and play with their toys. I might put a couple along the edge over there um, just to, so that they have a, an area that's lit, right? All right, let's see what else we got. How are we doing today? I'm in such, excuse me, I swallowed the wrong way. I am in such a good mood today. It is Wednesday. I've had a very productive week. I got a lot of painting done in the kitchen, my cabinets. Uh, just got the, the, the drawer fronts, just got the last coat of paint on them. They're outside drying so that I can get them back in, get the hardware in. I went and gave my plasma donation yesterday morning. I do that twice a week. Um, I have friends that use plasma products. And, you know, there's no guarantee they're ever going to get mine. But you know what? If some of us didn't give, then they wouldn't have those products they need to survive. I just checked my bag. This is empty. But I still have three more things to show you from this particular haul. 
All right. This says Ensor Joe and Sarjo. Ensor Joey. I don't know how to pronounce it. No clue how to pronounce it. But it has a pair. Yes, another pair of sunglasses. Hey, come on. This is outside, right? This is house and garden. If I'm sitting outside in the Arizona sun. So these are tortoise shell. I decided to break down and try them. I'm hoping they will be big enough to go over my own glasses. But if not, if I'm just sitting outside, I'm okay. They're just plain tortoise shell all the way around. But I love the shape of them. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. Oh, that works. Well, my hat's kind of in the way. There we go. That works. Yeah. I don't see the bar to my glasses there. I don't see the bar to my glasses on the sides over here or over here. So guess what? These work. Oh, I love them. I really do. I like them. What do you think? This is very 70 and 80 styles, very big. Yes, I know if you look through them in a certain way, you can see my glasses underneath them. That part I'm not worried about seeing the outline. I'm just worrying about having enough shade because my glasses are transitions, but they only go just so dark. They don't go dark enough. Yeah, I like them. Thumbs up from me. Thank you, Timu. Very, very nice. People don't think of sunglasses as garden stuff. Sunglasses, hats of any kind that will protect you from the sun uh, or from the weather. Uh, keep your head warm in the winter time. I used, in New York, I never wore a winter hat. I always wore baseball caps. That would keep my heat in, heat into my head, heat in my body. We lose a lot of heat out of our heads. So when we cover our heads, we keep the heat in. But yeah, these are great. Absolutely love them. Perfect. Perfect. At least if they came in a box, they're not broken. And they have this nice little storage bag, which I think I'll keep them in until I'm ready to use them. But that adds to the purple ones I have. So now I have something that will go with my wardrobe even more. All right. Where are we? Hold on. I got this stuff in that box. All right. Two more thingies. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Just a matter of being able to get it open. Hold on. I forgot I ordered this. Oh, so good. I don't know which end of the box to get it out of. I don't want to break it. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I'm sliding it out and the box just opens up. Yeah, blonde moment, senior blonde moment, all wrapped up into one. This is, as you guessed, a ring light. The one that I had, and you notice my images have been so much better. The one that I was using was a pretty bad quality one. Um, but this one is better. Now, this one screws in like that. Get in there. Okay. It has controls on it. Flip it around here. There's your controls. Come on, camera, focus. All right, so your controls are for a timer, two hours, four hours, eight hours, if you want to leave it on. Uh, the percent of light that you want and power on and off. Now, this technically is referred to as a grow light. This is for growing houseplants. This is actually a grow light, but it serves the exact same purpose as a ring light. The only difference is... This one, hold on, this is telescoping. So as your plant grows, you can raise this higher. It's got a point in the bottom. Can you see that point? It's got a point on the bottom so that you can stick it down in the soil. And then it telescopes. And it telescopes out to two feet, which is you got a house plant that's more than two feet, you don't need to grow light. It's growing fine. So I love that it does the telescoping. Uh, not sure. I thought, oh, yeah, it has a tilt. 
All right, if there's a hinge up here, right up here on the top, and you can tilt it down to go over the top of the light, or you, if the light's a little bigger, you can angle it, constantly change the angle. So love that about it. This is, and it's USB powered. So it's basically a ring light for plants. But I don't know. I might, if I find the need for it, I might use it as a ring light for the videos. <laughs> I know, it's a grow light. You can see everything inside of it. It's got all the little lights. And this is an LED grow light. It's LED. So this should last forever. This is probably going to outlive me and probably outlive any plants I try to put behind it. Um, I don't think what's to say in the box. Voltage current 100 to 250 volts. Output power 5 volts. And it is an LED. This device pursuant to part 15 FCC rules operating equipment meets the following conditions. It is not will not cause harmful interferences. The device can withstand any external interference, including any that may cause unintended operation. So basically, it's supposed to hold up. If it falls, gets dropped, whatever, there is a plastic covering. Can't really see it. But I can't get to what's inside because this is not open. This is sealed, completely sealed. All right, can you see it that way? Yeah, you can probably see the covering that way a little bit. But it's completely sealed. Cannot get into it. Loving this. Very cool, right? Telescoping. So short, and actually I have a couple plants in need. So I think this is why I got it to help with some of the house plants that I do have, the live ones that I do have. But I might actually try it out for other lighting too. It's supposed to be pretty good. We'll see. All right, in the box you go, down to the trash you go. Last but not least, I got a sensor street lamp. I have a dark spot where my patio is. I have a motion sensored lamp and it's bright. It goes two thirds of the way down the backyard. So no matter where my dogs are on that side of my yard, I can see them. I can see anything that's in the yard, whatever. But the other side, and that's the gated side of the yard, has no light. And I don't like that. I don't feel safe that where the gate is and people actually come in, we could come in through the gate has no light. So, there we go. I knew there was something else in there. Okay. So, this is a solar light. There's the mount. Goes up against the house. The light clips into here. So, it's very low profile. It's not going to stick out very far. Comes with hardware. Okay. If you're going into a hollow area, which I'm not, you would need to use the mollies, but it does come with this small Phillips head screws for mounting. And as you can see, there's three mounting holes. One, two, three. Comes with everything that you need for that for mounting. And this is the actual head. This is solar activated. Here's the solar head. It's a good size. You can see that. This is the mount right here that slides into this. This way, comes in from the side. All right, holds that on. Ugh, I don't want to put it all the way through because obviously I have to be able to get to the screws to mount this. It has a little bit of a swivel, so it does, you can angle it a little bit. So you can angle it this high up or you can angle it more down. So I think that's great if you want it to cover more territory, so to speak. You can point it out that way. And if you want it lower to the ground, so you can adjust it for the angle of the light that you're going to shed. This side, this is also LED. And it's got a cover to protect those little LED nodes that are in there. You've got your on-off on power button right here. This is your activation light. All right, This will let you know that it's absorbing the solar light. Up on top, there's a sensor receptor right here. So it lets you know. Let me get in a little closer. There we go. It lets you know that the sensors are working. If this is on, even in the dark, you're going to know. 
on and off. If you want to have it on, you can turn it on. You can reach up and turn it off. If you don't feel that you need the light there for whatever reason, you don't have to have it on. But this is a sensor lamp, so if it's bright outside, it's not going to light up. As soon as it starts getting dark, you're going to get the light that you want. All right, hopefully. We'll see as it throws. I'm looking to see, what's it say? Solar charging, uh, body induction, which means it's motion censored. Right. So that's a pretty good thing. I didn't realize that. Intelligent lighting control, zero electricity bill. That's even better. <laughs> this model, it's not marked on the side which one it is. This is a 616.4, which is the second from the highest that you can get. 616.4. Let's get it out of the light. There we go. It's the second one right here. So it's just a little bit different as far as wattage goes, but it's high enough for me. It says solar sensor lamp. Mm, 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 mm. This device complies with FCC rules. This device may not cause harmful interference. The same as the other one. And this device must accept any interference received. So if anything blocks, this is going to be coming out the side of the house. Nothing should be blocking the solar panel here. If I tip it up too far, I don't think that's possible because the way the sun crosses my house, this is going to be in the sun morning tonight. So it should charge up quickly. I'm hoping if I can get it up in the next couple of days, I will definitely take a picture, show it to you up there. I can't wait to use this because that means I finally have some security right by the gate because that's where I'm going to mount this on the eve of the house uh, about three feet in from the edge of the gate. I don't want it to be blaring around my neighbors um so it does say super bright it doesn't tell me how many lumens are in here let's see uh, all right the environment must be in a state of insufficient light before it can sense the human body to turn on the light so it's motion censored which is great i need to find my reading glasses so i don't have to keep doing this uh librarian thing <laughs> If the daytime light is sufficient, open the window and so on, it will go to sleep automatically. So it'll only be bright when it needs to be bright. If it's dark outside and there's motion, like the dogs running around in the yard, it'll come on. If somebody walks past it, like me or whatever, it'll come on. That's what I need. That's my kind of security light. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't tell me what the lumens are. I will put the picture up of this though, so that you can see and find more information on it. Again, all the links are going to be below uh, with the prices for these items. Let me get this all put back in here so I don't lose any of the pieces, especially the hardware. Okay, so that's today's haul. Thank you, Timu, for sponsoring this. I really appreciate it. Timu is helping me make my house safer my yard nicer and more pleasant to be in and I am enjoying everything that Timu has to offer I am so far down that rabbit hole I think I ran into Alice right <laughs> anyway if you have any questions comments concerns <coughs> excuse me by all means oh, sorry <laughs> By all means, leave me a comment below. Comment on anything you want to comment. Uh, let me know how you feel. I'd be happy to hear your opinions. You already know I love your feedback. Share this video so that everybody can see the wonderful choices that you can get from Timu, all the different items that you can get for outside the house, and my uh, swathy new sunglasses. <laughs> I can't wait to wear those, too. They'll look great with the wig, won't they? <laughs> I'll definitely have to put them together in a special video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you liked everything, if you enjoyed my content, if you enjoy my videos, by all means, give me a like, do a share. And if you haven't already, would you please, for my dimples, you make me smile more, Meg. My dimples come out. Please subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. And thank you to everyone that has helped me grow so far. My membership, my followers have exponentially increased over the past few days and I love that and I'm hoping that you're all very happy with my content and that you'll keep coming back 
In the meantime, stay where it's cool and comfortable. Stay hydrated, especially if you have a Timu mug. <laughs> but above all else, please stay sweet. And I will see you again in a couple of days.